Determined to make their voices heard, hundreds of medical professionals marched through the streets of Nairobi to pile pressure on the government. Five weeks into a nationwide doctor strike, many were accusing authorities of turning a deaf ear to their demands. We feel that the government doesn't care. The government is celebrating in meetings, in seminars, and in conferences while Kenyans are dying, while doctors and healthcare workers are on the streets. Medical unions say the government has failed to implement a 2017 collective agreement, which was signed after a months-long strike that saw people die from lack of care. Seven years later, doctors are still calling for better pay, more trained personnel, and for a general overhaul of Kenya's struggling health system. The latest strike has paralyzed hospitals across the country, forcing patients to turn to private clinics or bypass medical care altogether. But doctors say it's a necessary evil that will ultimately benefit the entire country. We feel really bad. We feel very empathetic. We are very sad. But now, what we are fighting for, we are fighting for better health care. And it is better health care even for those patients, for everyone. Authorities have in recent weeks sought to reach a compromise with the striking doctors, but their proposals were deemed insufficient and were rejected by labor unions. On Sunday, President William Ruto urged medical professionals to go back to work and said Kenya had to learn to live within its means.